Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 8 of Cracking the CSWE. In this video, we're going to be looking at cutting with surfaces, which is a great tool in SolidWorks for making some really complex and intricate part geometry. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be reminded of any future videos. And with that out of the way, let's just get right into it. The Cut with Surface tool is a powerful tool that we can use to create new parts from a base part and a surface to cut it with. I have created all the parts and sketches we're going to need in this video as at this point I'm confident in your sketch making abilities so no need wasting time in the video showing you how to do all these parts. Let's take a look at this part file which you can download from the description down below. We have this really funky looking part which is just a revolved oval shape with a thin feature. Then we have this sketch which is a shape that we want of the part to be remaining. To make a cut with surface we can simply select the sketch, create an extruded surface and then select this surface to create a cut with sketch on. The features I'm talking about are under the surfaces tab, so make sure you have that enabled. As we can see, once we make the cut with surface, the surface we had cuts the part. Now you're probably saying, couldn't we just do this with a through all cut with the side to cut flipped? Of course, and actually in most cases, this is what I would recommend. However, right now I'm just introducing the cut with surface as it really comes more handy when you're working with a more complex surface to cut with. Now let's actually look at using a more complex surface, something you might see on the CSWE exam. We can use the rollback bar or just delete the features we have made and then just insert a new part file into this part. As well, what we're going to do is we're going to change this revolved base into a revolved surface to use it as the surface cutting geometry instead of the base geometry. Pretty cool. By the way, the reason we can do this is because the boss revolve was just an open sketch using the thin feature to give it volume in the revolve property manager. If that was a little bit wordy, don't worry, just follow along and it will all make sense. First we can go to insert, click part, and then insert the part that we have in the downloads. Now we can insert it at the origin. If we ever had to move the part, we can use the number boxes for any change in any degree of freedom. Then we can go ahead and do the same thing with the cut with surface. Selecting the surface we just created from our old revolved boss. We can switch the side to cut if need be, and voila, our part is created. Pretty cool. For the CSWE, all you need to know is the functionality of this feature, but in your own designs you can now combine this knowledge with fundamental design and CAD principles to make some really cool geometry. Again, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video, it helps me know I'm making educational content that is of value. Thank you so much for watching episode 8 of Cracking the CSWE. In the next video, we're going to be looking at some really advanced surface modifications, which are some of the coolest things you can do inside of SolidWorks. So, I'll see you in that video.